Slammy the fucking How do you know the tag teams? Where's my wife, Boomerang? Hey, Boomerang, get over here. We have an interview with this new tag team. Failing on that, the mask. It's the besties! Not really. Don't How do you feel about ET teaming up for the upcoming tournament? Yes! Did you not hear? Hey, I'm an official! I'm gonna tell the boss! show we have for you tonight the full show since a hectic and chaotic doomsday to remember introducing fourth and if he loses his contract expires he is one one five starting off with the biggest return we've had in a while haven't done a match in months he was fired, but he gets one more chance. And he is running around the swing. He is a tough match, Kato. Much like Kato, woman five was injured for months. Does both get another chance? Kato failed to take the BYD championship. 115 having not been seen in months. Can 115 save his career? The Kato, he also has his contract expiring. He needs a win right here, right now. Okay, remember, this is the last match on your contract. If you do not win, your contract expires. Ring the bell! Much like others have been given, he got his extension, shake of hands. Oh, Chang was behind! The history these two have. We all know the first two wrestlers, Kato and. Oh, and from the top! Twisted Jester, then going by Ninja Blade. One, two, the two brothers started. Two. First signee, then going by the Undead Stud. Now, 115. We're joined. Feud with Kato. Mom's leader. We team up with Kato, part of the Death Wingers. One, two, two. Not winning yet. They were off and on to do minor feuds in two, forming the Death Wingers. Eventually, the group would disband into a heated feud last year. One five was lame. Ooh, big blue cut right in the throat. Woman 5 will blame Kato for Twitch Jester going after them. Then, of course, the few will transpire into part of Blue Spade vs. Kato, where Blue Spade kept saying he would take the title oh. from oh, Kato. Woman 5 being used as a marking point that Woman 5 would join World Coast Mafia and hated Kato. These two clearly respecting each other oh. now. <coughs> A year you later, me? after their feud. Okay, ah. ah. break the horse! One! Oh. Getting out of it, saving his career. Kato being able to go through, not landing on his face. Going after another submission horde. Ah. Big palm. Ah. Now exposing the chest. Ah. Big smack! So much on the line. 115 getting this extension. We haven't seen him besides but when Blue Spade attacked him out of nowhere swinging that breaker. A few weeks ago, Kato very much caring for 115. Not wanting to probably be the one to do this. But tonight, 
Mikado needs a victory. Otto getting an extension due to injury. Oh, God, Kono. These two Kono. both need a victory. <coughs> and that's the friendship had to go into hatred once again with a high splash. He's often on rivals, friends, doing battle here on Warzone. This is a pay-per-view level matchup. Kato Sports match on a regular episode in months. Same with 115. Woo! <coughs> so far, both not missing the beat. Kato, of course, only having one match. God, I missed this. In months. <coughs> 1-5 not having any. These two haven't missed a bead. Kato clearly missing this and clearly missing that top over as he climbs to the top. Cut with a goddamn spear. <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> not being able to capitalize. He's trying to get a vertical base. Is 1-1-5 catching his breath. Kato being able to recover. Ah, and flying out of goddamn nowhere. Not being able to capitalize. One, two, but not being able to two. get the victory. Climbing. The ropes to get up. And the opponent to stand up. Now eyeing Kato. Three shots. Crossing. Beating him there. Room 5 looks exhausted. Room 1 5 looks spent here tonight. But he's going to keep going to save his career. Show him how much it means just to be signed to BYWE climbing the ropes. Big splash. One, two, not two, e enough. <laughs> These two are gonna have to keep going at it. The force rules on as you build towards my enemy. Remember, this is around the time I feel. These two wolf feuding. At your last year's doomsday was a epic triple threat between all three Death Wingers. Kato trying to fight. Oh, oh, the leg. Ah, Very ah, smart to target a limb. When you haven't ah, rested in that amount of time, targeting the limb is very much a smart tactic. It hurts you so much more as you are not used to that type of pain. 1 5 already limping a bit. Locking up. Kato trying to get a lower base. Take 1 5 to the ground. Now getting that base, tackle him to the corner. Taking that breath out of 115. Kato trying to psych himself into this. You want him to say, God, I miss this. But he's going to need to win this match, beat his friend. To save his career, he wants to keep wrestling. This is good now. Ooh. Using every damn corner as a weapon. Using very smart tactics like tackling him into the corner. We're seeing some new moves from Kato in the last two matches. Very much more slow, technical pace, a lot of submissions. We're still incorporating that flying ability. Up five. Oh dear God! Head scissors, head force into the mat. The ref is gonna have to check on him. I can't believe. Look how dazed one one five looks. Oh. Now a shot to that head. Oh. Possibly a new part oh. of the body to attack. One, 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 five, fight, please. Uh, I don't want to do this to you. Come on. I'm uh, begging. Fight back. Come on. To fight. Uh, 
Come on. Come on, one with five. You got it in you. So much as if Kato wants the younger oh. one to beat him. Come on. Kato loves this. But he clearly cares about his friend. Oh. And wants him to fight. And so, one, one, oh. fight. Five, fight. <laughs> on. Rolling out, Toe. Come on, get back into the ring. Kato damn well One. wasn't expecting that lover Two. from 115. Three. Trying to catch his breath. You want it. You oh. got it. 115. Look at the face. Going to that zone. Getting to the end. Please. Big boot. We've seen. At the end, that's done. And it's 115. That angryness being thrown straight to Kato. We've seen it narrow down throughout his time in BYWE. He's used it and it's cost him matches. But through the Deathwingers and World Coast Mafia, it's been treasured into a fine work of art. The angle being used now to fuel him in this match. Remember, he was not just his friend, a big part of his company, but he was a bit of his mentor. But to him up, this is it. This is it. He has saved his career. One, two. Not yet. Two. Kato still needs a victory, and he's gonna keep fighting. It's only two. We played. Almost seemed upset to tell him that was two. Kato still has more time. He can still get another victory. But this is 115's last chance, and Kato making him own it. I'm losing today. Again, the angle. 115. The viciousness coming into play. Narrowing it down now. To use it as a final oil machine, but Kato still in this. The more experience of the two. And that experience coming into play. These two are damn well spent. Again, trying to sack himself in. Pick up. Now going after 115. Using the ropes as a weapon, up. very small when you're spun like up. this. One, you use the ropes, two, three, keep yourself four. up and get that level that you sometimes cannot get when you have less energy. I'm just grabbing him by the hair. Again, using the rope as an advantage, breaking the neck. Springboard elbow! Oh. Can't tell him to come on! Big splats! Come on! Come on! Okay, it's just time to come on. He doesn't want to do this, but he has to. Flying from the top rope now, lining him up! Huge action to fly across the ring. One, two, two. Not enough. One one five still in this. One one five has already hit his big move. The spear, heavy shot, straight to the ribs. Reversed! Spear reversed! Sorry. Northern Lights! One, two, three. Your winner, Kato.
What a sad moment to see. Hato Kluyam on do it. Did good. It's been a pleasure to watch him glow here in UID, but this is all for the career of 115. Friendly reminder, here are the three reasons why we are better than you. Two, three. Well, we got our BWO. Where we squash the competition there. Or BYWE. Where we always rule the competition there. And NEW. They underestimated us, but we proved them wrong like we always do. Because what's that for us now? Two-time NEW Tag Team Champion, the Rebellion is a two-time BYWE champion, not to mention your previous runs with those... Sorry, I'm a three-time. Exactly, you know? But those teams don't matter because they're not the Rebellion. And a one-time, and your forever standing, BWO Tag Team Champions. Three reasons why we're better than you. and to blood ritual and cut my ties with each and every one of them. I have been looking for my own opportunities and it did not take long for me to find one in Jeremiah. He has been looking for someone for something to teach the rebellion and in particular Spencer Nightfall a lesson and while I do not like Jeremiah and I do not give a damn about anyone that has been fired and I think we are better off without them I cannot resist the opportunity to take advantage of a desperate man and in his desperation he cut me a deal you see Spencer Nightfall come my enemy you will be meeting the Reaper of Souls one on one in the ring and in return if I beat you the GM will give me a chance of a lifetime opportunity to use with no expiration at a time of my choosing. And come great mistake in a battle royal, I will be taking another chance of a lifetime. And I'll be stepping into a triple threat match with Twisted Jester and the so-called Demon Slayer in order to win a number one contendership for war title of my choosing. So with that being said, all of BYWE should be ready for what I have in store. But most importantly, Spencer Nightfall, you should get yourself ready for my enemy. Listen, I had to do what I had to do. To do. I'm sorry, Nightfall. You, you all have seen his accent. I've had to make a deal with the devil himself, the fallen. I just, I didn't want to do it, but you guys have seen the actions of Rebellion. They have taken the careers from both the people I care about. Now, people like Uncle and such watch as a general manager. People like Puppetman now have to only be an interviewer. I haven't even seen Fagan in a while. We have an open challenge here tonight. 
Great idea from Bobby J. Old, old Uncle and the general manager now of Warzone. He wants to defend his title, prove himself as a champion. Uncle and fourth job as general manager is going to be one to remember. But who will accept the challenge? Old Uncle Ken don't know. I don't know. We're about to find out. Not a moment. There we are, Bobby. Celebrate your victory. One more for the Open challenge. Come on. Come on. Bobby Jay making sure that people know. And of course, this person, no one, Lee Knight, going back to fight. For that championship, he failed to take out Doomsday. That too. Hey Bobby, he's not taking this title. You're off as a rock! Are you kidding me? The Mountain Man's partner for one night only, Bobby J. Yep, it will be six man match. They get the tag votes and keep the asset if they win. Of course, you won't be tag team champion. We Bobby wins, you keep the tag votes, and you personally get to be asset champion if you get the pin on any of the men. You can pin Rocky, you can pin Bobby, you can pin Bobby. You will get the Aztec title. Hey, Sponge and Night Folk can pin them. You are the Aztec champion. Okay. You done? Yeah. The Alpha likes those terms. Okay. Now get the fuck out of this way. Everyone. Get those two out of here first. Get those two out. They're known for attacking behind. Hey, what, what's up? Bobby, he wants you to leave first. He's not literally going to leave. Good. Good. Good luck at Crazy Steak. Yeah. 